around. So today we're going to talk about one of my favorite cameras that I own, the uh, Kiev 88. And uh, I own three copies of them. Um, one is currently in route to Ukraine for repair, so I have actually four of them. And uh, I love these cameras. I've had them for over a year. Uh, not all three at once, but I've owned at least one Kiev during that time and to me they're a really great value and everyone likes to dish on them and say oh they're they're not good they're no Hasselblad or they're they're cheap they're pieces of junk but this is actually one of my favorite cameras I've used it all the time got so many great pictures these cameras are so ridiculously easy to use you figure out your subject, you pull out the dark slide, you take a picture, you wind it, set your dark slide back in, you're good to go. I mean, it doesn't get any easier. Now, this camera is so easy to use, uh, practically anyone can do it. The only thing you have to remember is that you have to wind the shutter fully before you change your shutter speed. If you take a picture, and then you decide to change the shutter speed before you actually cock the shutter, you're gonna have a broken camera. Uh, but if you can just remember that one rule, you're gonna have zero issues whatsoever. So all it is is you pull out your dark slide and you take the picture, you want to wind the shutter, and then you can change your shutter speed to whatever you want. The biggest upside of having a camera like this and Hasselblads and other cameras that have removable backs is obviously you can take off one back, grab your Pro 400H or your uh, Lomo Berlin, you can throw it on your camera, pull out the dark slide and you're ready to take pictures. Uh, which is amazing because obviously you're not stuck with one film loaded. Like a regular camera load 400 ISO and if you want to use something else well you have to finish off the roll. Not the case with any cameras that have removable backs but with these Kiev cameras these removable backs are like $40, $50 on eBay so I actually have a stash of about 15 backs that I have laying in my room that all have some sort of film loaded in them and whatever I feel like it I will grab, or whenever I feel like it, I'll grab this, this back. I have a, I have a camera bag I take, put five, six, seven backs in the camera bag, and I'm ready to shoot. There's no reloading the film. You shoot one roll, grab the next roll, and keep going. There, it's a huge, huge time saver, and you don't have to limit your creativity by whatever film you have loaded in your camera because, well, you feel like putting a different roll in. You grab your back, you grab your next back. There you go, you're ready to shoot. So I obviously love the cameras and I have a few lenses for them. I have this 30 millimeter uh, Zodiac 8 wide angle. I've got the my favorite, the Vega 12B 90 millimeter. And uh, I have the Airx 80 a uh, multi-coated lens that I don't really use. Another camera I have here is the Kiev 88CM. So this is not like your ordinary Kiev 88 that requires type B uh, mount for bayonet mount. This allows you to use Pentacon 6 lenses. So like this uh, Zeiss Zen Zena, Carl Zeiss. Um, lens I can mount on this Kiev and I've shot with it and the pictures I get are just phenomenal from the lens quality. I also have some other high quality Zeiss lenses and being able to mount them on this Kiev has been amazing along with other Pentacon 6 lenses that I have for my Kiev 6C. And yeah, you, you've probably heard me mention that I have one in repair right now and three cameras total. Well, that's not exactly 100% true. Uh, this Kiev 88C 
has succumbed to a disorder. curtain on the camera has ripped and uh, I can't ship it off to Ukraine yet because there's a war going on so I've been down to two cameras and 15 backs for all the two cameras but all the backs are compatible between all three cameras so there's just not much of an issue so would I recommend a camera like this to you well it depends if you're coming from something on a higher level, like say a Bronica or a Hasselblad or a Pentaco Pentacon uh, 645 or 6x7, you will not most likely enjoy this camera. It's not streamlined at all. It's not super smooth. It's not silky smooth. It takes a bit of brute force to use. You have to know the techniques of when you wind it to twist the camera with you on your wrist. Um, you can't change the shutter speed until the shutter is cocked. Um, it just, this is not one of those cameras where everything fits together, where everything is nice. Not all the cameras have great quality control. Um, some of the film backs, like this one, it's really difficult to pull out and put in this uh, dark slide. Sometimes the dark slides bend. So if you're looking for quality control, if you're looking for something that is going to be super smooth, super easy to use. No, this ain't the camera for you. Not at all. Uh, but if you've grown up around Russian cameras like the Zorkis, the Feds, the uh, Zenits, the Kievs, even you're gonna you're gonna be just fine with this because tradition, like most other Soviet gear, this one is not super smooth. This one just is built like a tank. I've dropped. Is it this one? I've dropped one of these cameras on the asphalt from about a foot and a half up, fell, uh, put a little dent in the, uh, the filter I put on, but nothing happened to the camera. It's still working. It's this one. Um, so they're built really, really good, but they're not smooth. They're not, they're not like satisfying to use for people that have, you know, had something super high quality before. This gets the job done and I really really enjoy this camera and I'm going to be using it for years to come uh, assuming they don't break. Since you know I have three of them and there's plenty of them on eBay not too worried about that. But yeah let me show you some sample photos that I took with one of these three cameras. Hope you enjoy this review. I know it's not well put together, but it's just my thoughts on some some cameras I use super super often. Hope this helps some of you guys out that are considering these cameras, uh, since there's a ton of them out there, and all the reviews seem bad. Well, have a good day.